Welcome back to our channel. My name is Natalia and I'm the master trainer here at LBA. We have all seen pictures of lash sets that look beautiful but don't seem to suit the person's face or eye shape. This can be detracted from the overall effect of the lash style. Proper lash mapping is the best way to ensure that your client gets the best lashes and they're completely customizable and suit them perfectly. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to map two popular lash styles and go over some of the do's and don'ts. So let's begin! Okay guys, like I told you before, I'm going to be performing um, how to do the lash mapping. I do it two ways. So first I'm going to wash uh, her eyes and I'm going to be showing you the two ways that I do it. Uh, the first one is in the lash pad and then the second one is uh, basically I do couple dots in her eyelid. I use the, um, like a regular eyeliner or a marker. For me it's better to use an eyeliner just because at the end I just take like a cotton swab and I just clean it very easier than the regular Sharpie or any marker. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wash her lashes, then she's gonna have to sit down and then I'm do I'm gonna do a couple dots on her eyes just to make sure where her uh, center of the eye is and where do I wanna go with the like how I wanna do the, the lash mapping according to her lash face, like what will suit her better. So first I'm gonna wash her lashes. So for this, I'm just going to use like a regular um, eyeliner. In this case, I'm using the LBA eyeliner. The reason why it's very easy for me to remove at the end. So what I want to do and the main point that I'm going to make is like where her iris is. So when she's looking, just not look at straight. Mm -hmm. So her iris is like here. So I'm going to put a point here. Like a slow dot there, a small dot here. So those, when she closed her eyes, basically it's gonna tell me like where is the iris, so I know that's like the center of her eyes. Okay, like if she close her eyes, so you see like her center of her eyes, like if when she's closing should be here, but because when she open is here, so it makes a very big difference. So I always like to do that open and then I want to see where her arch of her eyebrows are just because that's where the end of the eyes I'm going to do okay. so, right here. Mm -hmm. close so now I have like kind of like this is kind of like her center of her eyes but like you see how far it is it's almost through the outer corner it's the same here so those two points are going to tell me where to do my actual mapping with her eyes open like i make two marks one where her iris is like where the center of her eyes are and then the second one is like where her arch of the eyebrow is that's kind of like the center of her eye so close danny so it's gonna be here and then this one is gonna be here i made it here it's gonna make it clear open so this what basically does is like when I'm doing the actual brow mapping, it's gonna it's gonna allow me to do the mapping right. And when I'm gonna do, for example, the natural um, the doll eye, the doll eye is like center on the middle. So if she close her eyes, the center of the eye is kind of like here. If I see, if I just divide it by exact amounts, but when she opens, the center of the eye is where the iris is. So it's gonna look. So different when she opens the eye and that's the main problem when uh, lash artists do mapping that it's one thing when they have their eyes closed it's another thing when they have their eyes open so for me these points are the main thing so now that i make these points now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna apply the lash pad <music> Thank you. 
I put the lash pads and I don't do my mapping until I raise their eyes first, okay? So to raise their eyes, I'm just gonna put a, some tape. I like to use the big tape just because it gives me the symmetry of the eye, like I can like I can manage the eye easier than when I put two tapes separately. So I open it slightly, just making sure that her eyes is always closed. Once I've done that, I brush the lashes very well. On the left side, we're gonna do doll eye. On the right side, we're gonna do cat eye. So I'm gonna map according to those. So the first thing you do is like, I'm gonna go with my lines that I already put in her eyelid. So I'm just gonna make like a line after that. And then I'm gonna go with the second one. So these are gonna be my biggest point. Then I'm gonna divide this in two. This one here, I'm gonna divide it in two also. And this one here also in two. Like that. Okay. So the my biggest point, my area where it's gonna be like her eye is gonna be more open. It's gonna be from here to here. Okay, so I'm gonna go with sizes 12. I'm gonna go from here to here. I'm gonna do 12. It's also gonna be 12. This is gonna be 11 and over here it's gonna be 10 okay on this one it's gonna be 11 and this one is gonna be 10 okay one thing I always do also is I mix my my sizes so even though I put I already know what sizes I'm gonna use uh, I know here is gonna be 9 and then in between I always mix the sizes as well just to give that natural look okay right side on this eye I'm gonna do the cat eye look just so you guys can see how a first how a look can change somebody like how they look and expressions and everything so on this eye I'm gonna do the cat eye so the first I already washed her lashes so I'm just gonna apply the patch open your eye Now with my Sharpie, remember we did these marks in the eye, right? So these marks are basically telling me that this is like where her arch of the eyebrow starts. This is her middle of the eye. And then on this case, because we're going to do cat eye, I'm going to start here. And then I'm going to take all the way to this piece here. And here, and this part here from the eye. And this, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it 13, then 12, then 11, and 9. Okay. In between, I always mix them. So it will help me when I'm doing the application 
So the numbers, just the main numbers or the main sizes that I'm going to be using. Uh, but always in between, I always mix them a little bit. So it kind of looks more natural. It's not super sad and it's for like goes from one side to the next one. Um, so that's how I like to do it. For watching if you found this video helpful please subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media for more content like this this is a very complex topic but don't worry we will be making more detailed in-depth videos on lash mapping if you have any questions please leave us in the comment section and as always like and share see you next time